Aloha, folks! It is I, the Great Clement, and today we're going to be tackling a very obscure Game Gear game, which I think is actually a pretty awesome Game Gear game. And uh, it stars Miles, Tails, Prower, Sonic the Hedgehog's beloved sidekick, the uh, two-tailed fox who can fly with his two tails. And, you know, he's an awesome dude. He's very smart, he's very nice, he's, he's a very cool guy. Well, one day he's just chilling on this island that is either Tails Island or Coco Island, depending on which instruction manual you're reading. And, uh, some fucking army, an army attacks the whole place. They start burning the forest down and, and they're, they're doing bad shit. They're scaring the animals, they're trashing the island, and why? Well, you guessed it, they're looking for the Chaos Emeralds. Oh, that tired old chestnut, eh? <laughs> So this is Tails Adventure. Uh, it says Tails Adventures on the title screen, but every box art and instruction manual and everything that references this game is just Tails Adventure. In Japan, it's called Tails Adventures, but they didn't really change the title screen for the English version of the game, I guess. Either way, most people just call it Tails Adventure, so ignore the title screen. I call it Tails Adventure. You should call it Tails Adventure. Yeah. But anywho, this is Tails Adventure, and um, yeah, we play as Tails, and here we have a stage select level, a stage select map. We can go to Tails' house early on in the beginning of the game, but there's nothing there. Uh, Tails' house is actually just this thing where we can equip different items and equip different attachments to a certain vehicle we're going to be driving later in the game. We can actually see what the things are we're missing right now, like the Chaos Emeralds, regular bombs, napalm bombs, speed shoes. We don't have any of these things yet, but we're going to be going into the levels to find these items, and then anytime we want to equip them, we just go back to Tails' house and we can do so. So Tails can still fly just like he does in the regular Sonic games. Uh, he does have a, little, a really limited range of flight when you start the game off. As you can see, he can only fly for like five, no, not even five, it was like two seconds worth of time. Um, Chaos Emeralds are plot important, but they're also upgrades to help Tails out himself. When you grab a new Chaos Emerald, you actually get a boost to your health meter and you get a giant bigger uh, flight meter. So the more Chaos Emeralds you find during the course of the game, the, f the farther we're going to be flying for a longer period of time and the more damage we can take. If you've just seen this video after coming off of my Tail Sky Patrol LP, uh, you may have noted, remembered that I called this a Metroidvania type uh, video game. Now, if you're familiar with Metroid or any of the newer Castlevania 2D games on the Game Boy Advance or something, or like Symphony of the Night, what I mean by Metroidvania is this is a kind of game where we're going to be finding lots of items throughout the areas. Uh, we're going to be backtracking to levels that we've already played before so that we can find items that we couldn't get to previously. Like, there are a ton of items in this one first level. There's tons and tons of items. There's speed shoes I could pick up here, but, you know, I can't really pick them up yet. You know, I can't pick them up quite right now. There's something I need to get in order to get the speed shoes, and then uh, I'll be good to, good as, bleh, I'll be good to go. And that's what this kind of game is, you know? You find new items which help you destroy new rocks or, or get you past certain obstacles, and then you come back to levels to find new items or to find new pathways so that you can get through the game a lot easier. Uh, with the stage select map, it's a lot easier to get from level to level than it is in a Metroidvania type thing. Although, uh, Symphony of the Night did have teleportation areas in the castle, so you could get to certain parts of the castle a lot quicker. But the idea is that each, the levels are broken off into levels, and there is a stage select level, like a stage select map, so you can choose which level you go to. But the general idea is we're going to be visiting places over and over and over again, and collecting items and whatnot. And yeah, if I miss an item, don't worry folks, I will get every item in the game, and I am going to save it for later when I have better items to find everything with. Do not point out where an item might be in the comments. I know where they are. I'm going to get them all. Don't worry. It'll happen eventually. If I do miss one that I could have gotten already, well then, I'll get it later. Don't worry. <laughs> but there's the red Chaos Emerald. We got the first Chaos Emerald in the game, and now our health bar goes from 10 rings to 20 rings. 
Yeah, if we lose all of our rings and get hit, we die, and certain enemy attacks can take off one or two or maybe even three rings off of our life bar. The enemies are pretty tough. They're not exactly, you know, simple to fight. Like, you're going to get hit a lot in Tales Adventure, I think. Even this first boss I can't beat without getting hit at least once. He shoots a gigantic fucking flamethrower. <laughs> And uh, this flamethrower, you can dodge and jump over or stand under the three flame shots. But when he shoots that big freaking wave, you have to stand all the way at the back so that you can dodge it just barely. But, you know, you just throw ten bombs at the dude and he is done like dinner. And that's our first boss of Poloi Forest, the first level in the game, which I think has a pretty awesome tune if I do say so myself. By defeating the first boss, we actually got a remote robot. We can use this remote robot to go into tiny spaces and pick up items that Tails can't grab normally. Like if there's an item in a tiny crawl space, the remote robot can go to it and grab it for us and take it back to Tails. And that's going to be so freaking awesome much later in this game. The remote robot could even fly and stuff too, so it's, it, it really is a smaller metal version of Tails. It can't attack enemies with bombs, but, you know, it does an okay job. So now we're in the second level. Um, the enemies of this game, I think they're called the Grand Cuckoo Army, or the Grand Cuckoo Battlebirds, or some bullshit like that. I'm not incredibly familiar with this game, but before I go on to the plot, uh, I just picked up a hammer. The hammer's not exactly useful. I mean, it's, it's a melee weapon, and it can kill enemies, I guess, but I think the bombs are pretty good as they are. The hammer's not used for destroying walls or anything, so it's an item, you know? <laughs> like, it's there, but you don't really need it, you know? While flying, you can drop bombs, so if you want to go overhead an enemy, you can then j drop bombs on top of them. And uh, that's one way to get through this game. Many of the walls in this level, hell, many of the walls in every level, contain rings. So if you're looking for health pickups, in case your characters suffered a bit too much damage, then you can uh, destroy some of the walls to find some hidden rings. And that's a tip I would recommend. But yeah, the, this game has two different stories depending on whether you're reading the Japanese or the Western instruction manuals. <laughs> In the Western version, uh, this game takes place after Tails meets Sonic. And he just decides to go to some lone island, and he, he calls it Coco Island, or I think it's called Coco Island, and he just goes there for some rest and relaxation. And then the Grand Cuckoo Army invade, and uh, they go looking for the Chaos Emeralds, because, hey, the Chaos Emeralds are jewels of immense power that can do anything you want it to do. And, well, not only Dr. Eggman wants it, a lot of people want it, so <laughs> I guess the Grand Cuckoo Army, these evil birds, angry birds, if you will, <laughs> are trying to grab the Chaos Emeralds and use them for nefarious deeds. And uh, they just happen to be bombing an island that Tails is quite fond of. And so Tails has to stop these evil army of birds from finding the Chaos Emeralds and using them for their evil purposes. But here's the remote robot that I was talking about. And I'm using it to go into this tiny crawl space to find a new item. It's the remote bomb! We actually need the remote bomb to get through more of this level. The remote bomb is actually a bomb that slides along the ground. It doesn't go up walls or ceilings or anything, but when you throw it, it will slide across the ground, and then, uh, you know, it'll just reach its destination and eventually explode. It's actually a remote bomb, though, as it... <laughs> I'm an idiot. It is a remote bomb, though, and if you push the button whenever you want, like if you push the attack button, the same button you use to throw the bomb, it'll explode whenever you want. So you can throw it, and then push it again, and it will explode. And it's a very awesome item, if I do say so myself. The thing is, though, it's not really good for, like... I don't know, you can't throw it in, like, giant different directions like you can the normal bomb. Like, you can throw the normal bomb a little bit slightly higher in the sky to hurt certain enemies, and the remote bomb only goes in one way, you know? And it's alright, I guess, but... I still like using the normal bombs just for the sake of it. But that's just me. Again, if you're low on health, try and look out for indentations or different colored uh, tiles in the walls, because you can smash them and get some extra health that way. You're going to need the remote bomb for this level to get through tiny, tiny little, 
you know, alcoves that you can use to get destroy platforms, which will take you to far farther places, and yeah. A lot, of the, a lot of the game depends upon you finding hidden pathways and blowing through them, and one thing I would recommend if you're a newbie to this game, do not leave until you've found a Chaos Emerald, or until you've found a boss, because... Uh, generally, don't leave until you've found a boss, really, but, uh... If you've come to an area and you don't know where to go, and you're just, like, wondering, where the hell do I go? Like, like, am I done here? No, you're not done here. If you haven't found a Chaos Emerald, or you haven't fought in a boss battle, chances are you should probably keep exploring because you haven't found everything. Because in order to traverse through most of the levels, you have to destroy walls and find hidden areas, and, you know... Fucking fireballs! I hate those fireballs so much. But, uh... Yeah, you really have to look around in Tails Adventure. It doesn't hand-feed you where you should be going, you know? The green Chaos Emerald! My health bar is even that much bigger, as is my flight meter. But, uh... You know, this is what, why the remote bombs are not great. Like, I can't destroy this one part of the wall that I just want to destroy, so I grab the normal bombs, and I throw it in a more higher angle, and it finally works, you know. So it's, it's always good to keep regular rem remote bombs on hand, if you do ask my personal opinion. And you should, because, you know, I'm awesome. But, uh, you know. This game's Metroidvania-ish in that you're going to be backtracking and finding items and stuff, but it's not like... Oh, no, it is. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that thought. <laughs> I like that Tails has a climb feature. Like, you can grab ledges if you jump to them. So, like, if you see a ledge that you can't, you haven't reached... Or, like, if you, if you see a platform that you don't think you're going to make with your jump, uh, Tails will grab the ledge and then climb up, and that's... You know, a very useful ability. I really hate the bats in this level. I fucking hate them. They just fly out of nowhere and attack you, and it's always not fun. Anyway, folks, that was the second level. I'll see you in Poly Mountain in part two. See you then.